Right. She's a bit breezy. Yeah. Well, there, not that little one there, but way past there is the goal. Let's have a think about this. Not quite the morning I was hoping for, wind wise. Looks good up there though. Now we just gotta make the call as to what we do. Ooh, all right. Made it up the coast again. I've got craze on the mind, so I'm definitely keen to uh, get out there. But I decided, like after the last time I came up, it was uh, I found on the skiff it was all a bit, um, bit sketchy on the way over. And it appears that this time is going to be no different. But I've brought the kayak this time because it's uh, in regard to the chop and heading straight into the chop. Uh, I thought maybe it might be a bit more uh, forgiving just in case I come off because I thought uh, with, when I was all loaded up with in the skiff uh, with all that gear it was a bit dicey last time. Doesn't look that bad now but there's a pre pretty steady stiff wind sort of blowing in here at about probably let's call it about 20 to 30 k's an hour. So it comes in gusts like it feels pretty good right this very second but it'll be a long hard slog. What are we going to do? <laughs> the original plan was just to take the kayak and just basically paddle straight out. Probably about, let's say, 15 k's at least to the island where I saw where I want to be on the islands out there. There is a, big, a bigger ferry that can take me over, but uh, it's just uh, money and time, I guess. I'll have to see when it leaves. Damn, it's, it's a bit of a bummer, actually. I was really looking forward to the paddle over, you know what I mean? Like, I'll... I'd paddle 15 k's to 20 k's in a fishing trip, you know, no problems. It's not even a really a blip on what like the kind of k's I'd normally do. I just don't know in this wind if it's worth it. I might go and uh, suss out a ferry and see uh, what options there are to zip me over, and then I can uh, really enjoy the paddle. Then again, like it's in gusts, maybe I could just paddle over from here. I have to figure out where to leave my car here though. Or I could go back into the harbour, which would be a pain, but at least it's safer to leave my car there. It's a nice easy launch though. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> We're on the water. <laughs> Let's get away from all these people and then we'll uh, reassess. But she floats even with all this gear and feels pretty stable. So it looks like we're going to actually have a successful trip. A couple of setbacks, but we got here. We're away from the majority of the boats and people now. We're a couple of k's away from where I got dropped off. It's thinning out nicely. Guess we might as well, now we're past the green zones and everything, we can might as well troll this little skirt. You never know. So we'll troll that and we'll head over to some of these smaller islands. I'm really not sure where exactly I'm going. Last time I was here, I headed down the other way and was a fair bit away from where I am now. But there's plenty of little islands up this way as well. a bit <laughs> all right so we're fishing and there's a bit of a headwind so we'll slowly make our way maybe we'll dock we'll uh, come up on this beach here and we'll see what the wind's like on that side of the island oh so much nicer to get away from all the people it's very different from my last trip last trip i didn't see anyone really apart from one day tripper Apart from that, I had the whole place to myself. This time, getting dropped off off the big island where all the holiday makers and tour guides sort of stop. Doesn't have the same feeling. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get over here and it's not too bad now.
Ooh, just came in, came in a little hot and uh, it's all coral rubble. I think there might be some nicer sand over there. Maybe I'll come in on that side. Ooh, very rubbly. <laughs> Take that paddle. Well, it doesn't look half bad, does it? <laughs> so good. There we go, there's a patch of nice fine sand. We'll go over on that side. That's better. A little bit nicer on the old uh, carbon fiber kayak. It's not really built for jagged rocks. Oh, but all in all, that was a pretty sweet trip across. We've come quite a few Ks now and we've thinned out all the people and we're on one of the smaller islands now. Yeah, we'll get this up here and we'll have a bit of a sniff around. Oh, she's heavy. Whew. Certainly different with a lot of gear in it. Far out. Paradise. <laughs> it's pretty special to be able to come to a place like this and just pull up. It's out of control. Having a little case around. Those birds hate me. He sweeped me like three or four times now. <laughs> Let's see if he comes back for another pass. <laughs> Look, he's thinking about it. <laughs> they must have a nest over here somewhere, I think. But I think just in here. Well, here he goes. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, <laughs> he chickened out because I turned around. But uh, yeah, I guess just here's a nice little zone. Maybe just down here in the shade. I'm just stopping off here and I'm going to continue around the island tomorrow. So it might not be such a bad place to stop and just have a bit of a crack at uh, maybe some crayfish or something. Look at that guy. Look, he's peeking his head just over the hill. I'm not in the good books. Let's see how dry everything is inside. Geez, you can pack a decent amount of stuff in here. But I was just on the borderline of having enough room for everything though. I wouldn't have wanted to have any more. Uh. Oi. He keeps buzzing me. That bird. It's going to get old in a sec. <laughs> All right. What do we got? We need the tent. We've got our bottles of water. Which we put in here. Let's get organized. I know people might not think that's a lot of water, and it sort of isn't, but the last three trips now that I've done, I haven't gone through all the water that I've taken, so I'm pretty confident that I'll be fine. It is pretty hot though. Yeah, we'll leave that in there. We'll leave any of the spear gear down here. Right, we'll grab the tent. Got a different tent this time, we've gone the swag. What have we got down there? Flippers. Everything in there sort of needs to be in there. And uh... Okay, got a little bit of food. Oh, my butter, it's gone everywhere. That's really bad. Okay. Uh, we'll deal with that in a sec. Cooking stuff, we'll need that soon, hopefully. Knife, we'll definitely need that soon. I brought an oyster knife this time. So if I'm really scrounging around and I can't get anything else, I guess I could always hit the oysters with a proper knife this time. Um, what have we got? Sleeping bag and mattress. Let's see how much we can carry up in one go. Ideally, I want to make one trip. <laughs> Which is not going to happen, is it? Anyway, we'll come back for the rest. Just in there looks really nice actually. In as much shade as possible. Alright. Should we put the swag up? Looks like someone's pretending to have a fire. Uh, but it is a no fire ban again in this area. 
you're not allowed to have them, so I'm not going to break the rules as nice as it would be. And it makes sense, you know what I mean? First of all, if everyone was on fires, they'd be burning off all the wood. If a fire did catch and uh, there was a bushfire or an island fire, it would pretty much wipe out everything on the island as well, so probably not the best idea, so we'll respect the, uh, the laws in place and not light a fire. Um, yeah, let's quickly whack this out and let's get in the water. Oh, a little salty. <laughs> okay, we've switched to the swag now. Just simply because the other tent was getting on. There's lots of uh, sort of rips starting to appear and all the seams were coming, coming apart. So we've decided to call it quits with the other tent and we'll go to the swag. It's a bit quicker to set up, which is nice. Where are we going to have it? I do like the little outlook there. You can see out to the water, which is nice. Slight uphill slope. Maybe just here. That will do. It's fairly level. Tongs and cutlery, and we use the live bait well for uh, extra storage. Got some shoes. What else have we got? Tackle, which we'll leave in, and oh, wetsuit top that I didn't bring last time. That's going to be a big difference. There's all this. Oh, shirt. Probably shouldn't have put these in here. But look at that. It's all dry, which is good. I might take this up and put this on and then we'll jump in the water and we'll move the kayak over there so it's closer that way I can actually without all the stuff in it I can actually just carry it up won't need that fishing rod but I guess it can go back inside there cool let's do it oh, so much cooler in the shade okay you can go there you know what, I had a mate that might be coming up over the next hour or two but he can't get over to uh, the smaller islands because he won't have a boat and I was going to meet him but if he doesn't end up coming I think I, oh look at that, someone's been eating lobsters, not very big ones though, look at that, um, yeah I've got a mate that might be coming over and meeting me and I said uh, if he can get the ferry over he can sort of trek out to one of the points on the main island but after sitting up here I'm almost inclined not to move I guess it didn't take long so we'll see how we go but I think main thing is we'll get in the water and sort of case it out if the zone is good then I'm a happy guy as long as in the water is really nice and at high tide, I think this place will be transformed into heaven. It's just that it's in the middle of the day and it's a sweat box. It gives it a bit of a weird, a bit of a false impression of uh, being pretty, pretty uh, harsh. But come the morning, if I can catch a squid off the point down there and go around there and get a cold trout, I'll be one happy fella. But the main reason I'm back here is because I've been having nightmares about all the cray I missed last time. And then running out of time to sort of uh, um, fit one in was a big deal. So uh, I had to come back up and sort of get my uh, get my revenge on the area. So I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, we're all set up. Got the swag. It's a bit easier to set up. I don't have to put the fly on or anything. You just sort of set it up. It's waterproof. I really don't need that much room. 
as long as it keeps my gear like I've only got that gear really and that can just be pushed down the back if I need to if it needs to be out of the water if it rains apart from that it's pretty low maintenance setup so it sort of makes it easy just two 10 pegs and put in the poles and you're done just pops straight up I have to take the mattress out in this when I'm doing these trips because there's no way with the mattress in I would be able to fold it up small enough that's the problem with a lot of swags but if I replace it with this mattress we will be sitting pretty because this one folds up nice and small and it's just as comfortable as the big one. Let's get this thing off. Oh, that's cooking. We cook it even more in this thing. So get that off, swept these cameras around. I do like having the trees here. This acts as my personal coat hanger. It's always handy and I guess I'll leave the phone in there for now. At least it's not going anywhere. What do we need? Wetsuit top, every, all the other gears in the kayak. And I guess we should move this food just over into the shade more. Um, I guess while we're moving the food, we'll have a look at what we brought. We didn't bring much, so if I don't catch food, uh, I'm not going to be eating, basically. I'll be just drinking that milk and eating lemons. Um, okay, where can we do it? Just chuck it over here. So, we've got our basic cooking gear, same as last time pretty much. We've just got the little butane cooker, bought some corn flour, just in case we uh, want to sort of fry up some fish in a little bit of a, try and crisp it up a little bit. Um, got some tea, some sugar, some salt and pepper, and some sashimi uh, bits and bobs like wasabi and soy. And that's about it really. Apart from that, I just bought things to make a meal. Um, so just lemons, chili, lime, bought some milk for the teas, and they're always good to drink in the morning. I always sort of get, oh geez, they're so buttery. And yeah, we'll deal with that. Oh. And I threw the spinach in. Look, I didn't really need to, but I thought a little bit of green's always nice. Tabasco for the oysters, garlic for a bit of garlic butter cray, and oil this time so I can have some nice olive oil on uh, some cooked fish and a bit of Cajun spice. I thought I might as well just just make it easy on myself and add a bit of taste. All right, these are covered in butter. What have I done? Anyway, but yeah, that's it. Super simple, clean living. <laughs> if I catch something, don't lose those. Those chilies are gold. Look at them. They're covered in butter. Anyway, why didn't I wrap that butter up a bit more? Oh yeah, and I brought butter, <laughs> which we found out is everywhere. All right, well, that's the campsite, and that's about it. I'm gonna get the kayak and bring it around this side so it's nice and close to the camp. But apart from that, super simple. It's actually nice because the wind's already swinging around and coming in this way, which is annoying. But the good thing is, because I'm behind this little dune here, it's actually uh, pretty tame and it's nice and shady, so I'm happy. Right. Let's go and uh, jump in the water and see if we can redeem ourselves.
right, we got a little trout, which is nice. Not too big. I saw a few bigger ones, but this guy's actually ideal size for my lunch and I don't want to um, keep too much fish in one go because I can't uh, store it in any way. <laughs> I just swam in. I thought, bugger, I'm not gonna deal with all these tangles. Got wedged under the rock there for a sec, I was a bit worried, but we got him, so he'll be a nice sort of uh, snack and then we'll um, think about what we're gonna do. I think we'll stay here tonight and then, uh, yeah. And then we'll head off in the morning and just keep heading around the island. But anyway, we'll cook him up and I think we'll uh, call it a day. I'm a bit buggered. I was in there for quite a while swimming around. Saw a couple of decent trout at the beginning, but thought, no, 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 that's too big and it's too soon. You'll see better. So it was nice to come across this guy now because uh, he's the right size. Like I'll eat this whole fish in one go. So he's a little bit over legal, but, um, but not too big that I can't finish it. I don't want to waste any. All right, let's fill it him up and eat. I'm starving. <laughs> How good's that? Look at that. That is perfect afternoon tea slash dinner. And it'll keep me going for today. I might just dust them with some corn flour actually and just fry them on the pan. It's probably the easiest way. Wow. What else would you be doing, eh? I don't know, I think I like the other island better in some ways. I think there was more ground. After having a look at this, there's more ground at the other place to sort of uh, check out. But that spot on that point just back over that way was good. Sort of, as soon as you get to each point, the current rips around this island, so you can, you gotta watch out. <laughs> you get sucked out. But um, yeah, certainly nothing wrong with this spot. And just in here is really nice. But I think, uh, the other island had it on there just for simple, just sheer uh, number of things to do. But uh, there's plenty more places to check out, so let's go and eat and uh, see what happens over the next couple of days. Okay, pop me down there. We got flour. Yeah, I had to put all my stuff in here because I came back Earlier on, I did uh, sort of two trips in the water and I came back and the birds or something, I'm guessing it was the birds, it got into my food. My, my spinach is just thrown out all over there, so God knows what was eating the spinach, but so I've got no spinach now. All my stuff was sort of thrown out everywhere. It ate what took one of my chilies, one of my chilies had a hole poked in it, so I'm down to three chilies. But we saved most of it. Oh, the worst was my milk. I had uh, two milks and they were both burst open. They pecked the tops, like as if they knew how to get in. Anyway, <laughs> what do we got here? We need that. We need that. I'm sure I had a spoon here somewhere. So, where is my spoon? It's no good. It's missing. Anyway, we'll find it. It'll turn up somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's dust these guys, get them floured up, and then we'll get that onto some nice hot oil. Maybe I'll get that on now. I want a fair bit of oil. Let me get it frying properly. Yeah. Oh! Hot. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. That. Yeah, so I really didn't bring any other ingredients, so this should be a nice, like, it's a protein uh, weekend away. <laughs> but, uh, oh, something bit me. Yeah, a bit more on that side, and then we'll flip her over. These are gonna be primo. I really like the idea of just going with nothing and just seeing, it gives me incentive to catch. It's just a fun way to do it, you know what I mean? Like you, you go with the intentions, like it's only a couple of days really, so I'm not gonna starve to death even if I didn't get any. As long as I got some water and I catch the odd fish, we're looking good, but the idea is to catch a lot of fish or, or a full meal each time, which is exactly what we've done this time, so we're looking good. But uh, 
We'll smash this, just chill out a bit, I think. Rearrange the camp and then go to sleep. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'm gonna pack up early and then I'm gonna whip around the island and go um, uh, to a new spot and see where we end up. Go on the cray hunt, it's all about crays from this point on. All right, that's almost through. I think I'm gonna call that done. Let's get it off. I don't want to overcook. Even if it's slightly undercooked, it doesn't bother me. Oh no! I'm still gonna eat that. Oh, I'll get that in a sec. <laughs> that's devastating. Still good. That's totally still good. Oh, <laughs> mm, my God, that is delicious. <sighs> ah, just gonna eat that. It actually stayed really crispy as well. That corn flour. That oil was hot enough. Okay, let's not be shy. Salt her up. Maybe we'll just sit here and enjoy the rest of the day. A little, few less, uh, pulled the kayak up way high. Oh man, there is mosquitoes everywhere though. Thought I'd get away from them down here, but obviously not. But, we'll deal with that. Okay, let's eat. How good is that? And if I break off a bit, look, it's still got some crispness. Mmm. That is really good. Pack up. This was a good investment, this pillow. It sort of folds up small, but it's actually quite comfortable. Right. Everything has to be super compact. It's funny, over the years I've accumulated a lot of camping gear, but uh, yeah, this sleeping bag has stuck with me for many years. And it's a good one because once you fold it up, like it actually gets about half that size. Once I put a lift on it and ratchet it down or crank it down. So it's turned out to be a very compact little bag. <laughs> Perfect for this kind of trip. Not so good at Glenline Dam though. It's freezing. There we go. Alright, let's pack the kite. Yeah, we just squeeze the last little bits in. We are good to go and we're heading over that way and around the island so that's the main island there so we'll get back to there and we'll head around all right see the island oh she's a little bit blowy this whole thing has been protecting me the whole time should be all right once I get up to the, over to the other side though, so look forward to that. <laughs> I 
Uh, there's a little bust up and I actually put that little skirted rod out. Let's see, three, two, one, bang. No, <laughs> let's see if one of them picks it up. Should be passing to him about now. No, no go. Oh well. No takers on the little skirt. Whew. It's getting starting to cook in this wetsuit top. But I'm almost there, so I push through. Ooh, it's a pretty. Oh, I got off. No way. Wonder what that was. Pretty decent run. <laughs> what was it? Jeez. Oh well. Yeah. See if there's any bites. No bites. Maybe tuna. Ah. Gee. Exciting times. Maybe I'll put it back out. Never know. What could it be in Spanish? Tuna? We'll never know. I was wondering if that would go off. I'm almost actually at the next spot. It's just around this point that it goes off, eh? <laughs> All right, keep paddling. All right, bit of rough water back there. <laughs> just around the point, there's so much current and that moving around. These islands are just stuck. Oh, look, turtle. Oh, there he goes. Uh, yeah, oh, it looks like there's a bit of coral down underneath me now. This is the beach that was marked out on the map. This is my next stop. And it looks like it's gonna be quite nice. Doesn't look like there's much shade though. I have to find a bit, maybe under, oh, I don't know. The beach looks nice though. I'm gonna be roasting. I think I'm just going to fall in the water first. Bug it. It's really toasty. Probably shouldn't have worn the wetsuit top, but for some reason I thought I might jump in and have a little bit of a snorkel around some of the spots, but once I got moving, and when you're on the ocean side, it's surprising how much more harsh the ocean side is <laughs> compared to the uh, inner side, so sort of didn't look like much fun to sort of anchor up and stop. Is this all coral on top now? That's good. More ground, I need lots more ground to cover. Ooh, that's a big, look at that, it's gotta be a cray under that. It's a big hole there. All right, that gets me excited. Looks like a nice spot. So when I was looking on Google Maps, you always been looking for these big patches of coral reef. That might be some shade there. Once the sun gets a bit higher, this will start casting the shadow back anyway, so. This could, might not be such a bad spot to stop for the night. I'm planning on staying once here. I do have a mate that's planning on trekking out here today, but I don't think I'll get phone reception, so it'll be interesting to see if he turns up. He's just gonna come out for a day trip and have a bit of a spear. Where's gonna be best for camping? I guess we'll just beach it up here and we'll have a think. Maybe just over this way a bit. Might be more protected from the wind. tired so the reason I've chosen this spot is slightly better just there's enough shade here but I walked over there and it was just swarms of sand flies I know they're going to be as bad here but maybe just a little less because there's a little less shade but I'll be able to sort of shelter under this tree that rock looks nice to sort of fill it on if I need to and uh, 
we've missed the high tide, which is good. So that's a high tide mark. So should we should be right. Uh, should be right where we're sleeping up here. Shouldn't get wet. <laughs> so this is it. Once again, only my footprints up and back. Beautiful. All right. Well, hopefully it's not too windy. I'll try and block it. But uh, Andrew made it here, so it's cool. So we're just going to jump straight in. There's no point. We're here to catch uh, crayfish, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully I can get my yeah, revenge on these crays that sort of eluded me last time. So anyway, let's get in there and do it. He's gearing up now. Well, she's a little milky. <laughs> but uh, we quickly jump in and get around this corner. It should clear up a bit. All right, it's all about crayfish. Don't even have the gun. Let's catch him. I hope my camera's on. <laughs> I'm a very, very happy young man at the moment, or not so young man. Um, finally ticked the craze off. I actually, tell, to tell you the truth, yesterday I grabbed one and towards the end of the day, but it was too small, so I had to sort of let it go. But these ones are a lot more respectable. It's gonna be a good lunch. And Andrew bought a couple of bread rolls and that, so we're gonna have some like very tasty uh, lobster roll sandwiches. But we'll get stuck into it. Yeah, your knife's much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a new knife. Cool. Look at the difference in colour of those two. That's there we go. very good. 
good. Look at that. Uh, it's quite a nice shot, actually, isn't it? Uh, all right. So we get these steam it is then. And he's just covered them with the flipper because there's an eagle circling around. So they want him to come and swoop down and steal our lunch. As cool as it would be, actually. It'd be cool if he came down and grabbed one of the heads. Might be able to see him, right? Yeah, see if we can lure him down. Sounds good. I'll go grab the oil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's very cool, isn't he? Probably get that plant out of there first. Looking good. Cool. Oil it up. Okay, so that should be enough. You're not using a flint? No, no, no store bought flint for me. Still bought lighter. I know, so unsurvivally of me. Mate, just that sound's getting me hungry. That looks really good. <laughs> Bunk. There you go. Do you want me to fold them in? Oh, that should be enough. That should be all right. Cool. Then we just let it steam up. Oh, I'll get it in. Really good. Cook through. Perfect. It's a little bit of a slower heat on these ones, huh? Might be a bit better. Round two's uh, on its way. I guess we just go for them first, the bread rolls. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> They're uh, supplying carbohydrates. White bread, mate. <laughs> it's only been one day without white processed food and I'm already feeling it. Just simple but delicious. That ale is actually pretty tasty, isn't it? Mmm. <laughs> oh, look. Alright. Let's not be stingy. Oh, I guess we've got to make sure um, we save some for there's two more coming, so. <laughs> look at that. Big. And this is going to be good. Oh. No, I only come out the end. Mmm. <laughs> so simple and so good. Mmm. Very satisfying. Very good. Cool. Oh, wow. Look no at those. Burning. Yeah, perfect. No burning on this one. <laughs> they look even better than the first lot. Wow. Yeah. Well. Andrew's just taken off. It's nice of him to come and visit. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I guess I'm just gonna literally sit up right here. The tide's gonna come up to right up to this point later on today, so got a bit of time to kill. I've got a, another lobster roll ready to rock just in here. And uh, he had some biscuits, so I stole one of his biscuits as well, so we are set. Here we go, swag up. Just gonna keep an eye on the kayak as the tide comes in. Let's prop this up a bit. A little bit better. I'm gonna try and get as many rays. Peel the power bank up as much as possible. And now, I think I can just sit here for a while. Let's try and sit in some shade. Well, I guess this concludes another beautiful day. <laughs> I don't know, sun's just setting. It's finally cooled down. Man, it was so hot today. Definitely gonna go and restock on water. 
but got the swag set up. It's pretty fun actually. Like I'm the only one really around this area. Haven't seen a boat come past for a long time. Just being able to sit on this beach all by myself and um, being capped actually on the beach right down near the water. There's nowhere really else to camp anyway, so. It's a good one. I'll just enjoy the rest of this evening. I think I'll go to bed early. It's pretty fitting, I'm feeling pretty buggered actually. A lot of snorkeling, a lot of paddling. And then tomorrow morning I'll wake up, maybe even before the sun really comes up properly. Just at first light, I might just pack up quickly and just start heading around while the, the sun, before the sun gets too hot. And then I'll head out to another island. Yeah. Good times. All right. Well, a um, bit of a change of plans, unfortunately. I um, I went uh, over and got some uh, fresh waters from the uh, big island, and um, and I've just moved a bit around the coast. And uh, I was just mucking around on my phone, just seeing uh, when the ferry leaves tomorrow. And unfortunately, I just gave him a call, and they only leave in the afternoons, which means. If I leave in the afternoon, I'm going to be um, driving all night and then I'll have to go straight to work. So it um, uh, looks like I can either, and I asked if they do any morning shifts, like if I could get the ferry that drops off in the morning on the way back and they said no, because they stay and do a cruise. So looks like I'm going to have to hightail it across, all the way across to the mainland by myself. And uh, the wind's getting, I was going to come over and um, like I've come over to another smaller island and I was going to have a little bit of a snorkel and then I checked the wind and the wind is starting to pick up and it's meant to get pretty nasty so I'm going to have to make the call and scoot home it's a bit of a bummer because I'm losing a day but that's alright I got my craze that was a cock and I can go home a happy boy so we'll call out a successful trip the next time I come up here I think I'm going to bring my boy uh, Dash, my oldest boy He's pretty keen to come up and I've got um, a new little boat cooking. So hopefully if that all comes together, it should be coming together very soon actually. Uh, we'll be able to do a trip out here and I'll um, be able to take a passenger or two. And uh, hopefully if that all comes together, it should open up a lot of new opportunities uh, and to take my family with me. So hopefully that all comes good. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that and I'll catch you on the next vid. Now for the long paddle home. <laughs> See ya.